One NBA player had to work at Wendy's during the offseason, but now has a net worth more than Shaq, Giannis, and Steph Curry combined. This is the richest NBA player I bet you've never heard of. When you talk about the richest NBA players, the first names that probably come to mind are Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, and LeBron James. And you'd be right. After all, each one of those guys was once considered the best player in their generation, and they got paid like it too. But there is one guy on that list that often often goes forgotten by most people, since he quite never had a Hall of Fame career or even started for his team. In fact, some NBA fans will probably only remember him as one of the players involved in the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar trade. He was the guy that never made an All-Star game, averaged 13 points a game, never won an NBA title, never made more than $350,000 a season, playing more than 12 years in the league, and he knew ever since he was a rookie, he had to prepare for his life after basketball immediately. So he started to go to law school while also working at a local Wendy's during the off season. Okay, we got to be honest. Our mystery guy technically didn't need to work at Wendy's because he needed the money. No, he just wanted to learn firsthand how to properly run and manage a fast food restaurant. Eventually, all that hard work paid off. What made his achievement even more impressive was how he managed to earn all his money outside of sports and endorsement contracts. His name is Junior Bridgman, and by the time Bridgman retired, he had three Wendy's franchises to his name that each cost around a million dollars. But turns out, that was only the beginning. Since Bridgman finally had more time to dedicate to his business, his net worth began to skyrocket. He became the second largest Wendy's franchise holder in the entire world, and also owned over 100 branches of Chili's restaurants at one time. But if you think that's the only business that helped Bridgman earn his $600 million net worth, you'd be wrong. In 2016, Bridgman actually sold all of his fast food chains to become a bottler for Coca-Cola in the US and Canada. Then in 2020, he bought Ebony and Jet Magazine through his sports media company. But let's also give a little bit of recognition to Bridgman's basketball career as well. His number two jersey was actually retired by the Bucks in 1988, just a year after he announced his retirement. So the next time you order food in any fast food restaurant, be careful with what you say. The man behind the counter cleaning tables or flipping burgers might turn out to be one of the richest people who ever played in the NBA.